Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Sunday afternoon, February the 19th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for race 5 and their card 2.19 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a 6 furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Maidens, 4 years old and up, racing for a claiming prize of some $32,000. Contenders number one, quick to strike. Number five, it's truly a V. Number two, Charles Tonian. And number three, tricky guy. Number one, quick to strike, takes a 11 unit class drop this afternoon as the overall speed leader in his claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, has been a power run performer in each of his four career starts to date, hitting the board in three, facing better company in each of those outings than he'll face in this field this afternoon. Morning line favorites, number five, it's Truly Alive, who's the pace profile leader, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his two career starts to date. However, I could not consider her for my top slot since she has not raced in nearly two years, 548 days ago to be more precise. Race five summary, number one, quick to strike, tops my contenders list, which also includes number five, it's Truly Avi. Number two, Charles Tony, and then number three, Tricky Guy, one, five, two, three, and the fifth from Aqueduct. Gulfstream Park, race 10, 4, 45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Hurricane Birdie Stakes, six and a half for a long sprint on the dirt track, grade three. Phillies and Mares, four years old and up, racing for $150,000. Contenders, number seven, Her Smile. Number four, Strike the Moon. Number two, Bell of the Hall. And number one, Pika Slew. Number seven, Her Smile, takes a class drop of eight units this afternoon as the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at her about today's distance of six and a half furlongs on the dirt, has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in three, including a power run win in her fourth race back. Jockey Javier Castellano and trainer Chad Brown sent her to the post for the Sunday feature. They've hit the board with 55% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number four, Strike the Moon, is the pace profile leader, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last four, winning in her fourth race back. Race number 10, Summary, number seven, Her Smile, tops my contenders list, which also includes number four, Strike the Moon, number two, Bell of the Hall, and number one, Pika Slew, 7-4, 2-1 in the 10th today from Gulfstream Park, the $150,000 grade three Hurricane Birdie Stakes. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, race four, the nine to two shot, number five, Lobo del Norte. Speed figures sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the dirt, which are comparable to the favorite, number seven, Candy Heart. Louisiana Downs, race four, the 12 to one bomb, number 10, Bad Oak Special. The Trackmaster Plus Power Pony Qualifier takes a class drop of six units, the overall speed leader in this maiden field today. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Sunday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.